Hey, Adam, Kevin Draper from the New York Times. Uh, hey, I was wondering what your reaction is to the news about ESPN's turmoil over the, turmoil over the past year, given the relationship the NBA have, has with the network and the widespread reaction we've seen from current and former players to the comments from Rachel Nichols and Adam Mendelson. It's disheartening. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm really not in a position to speak too specifically about what goes on at ESPN because so much of my information came from your newspaper's reporting and others. So I, I, I'm not privy to much more beyond that. I will say, you know, apropos of my earlier comments, I think it's particularly unfortunate that two women in the industry are pitted against each other. You know, it's, I, I know that, you know, both Rich, Rachel and Maria are terrific at what they do. You know, they work extraordinarily hard. And um, it's, it's, as, as I said, I think just from the league standpoint, we recognize, well, ESPN's operations are independent of us. I feel we're all part of a family here in terms of what we do around our sport. And um, I, I hope, you know, I, I think part of the problem is that, as I said earlier, when people can't get in a room and talk through these issues, this seemingly has fostered now for a full year. I mean, this is an, this is an incident that happened, I guess, when, when Rachel was in the bubble a year ago. And I would have thought that in the past year, you know, maybe through some incredibly difficult conversations, um, that ESPN would have found a way to be able to work through it. Uh, obviously not. I, I should also say too, that these issues are not unique to ESPN. As I said, uh, the league, you know, um, is working on its own issues in terms of doing a better job with diversity. And it's not just in sports, but in companies around America, there's a reckoning going on, you know, and I think part of it and what we're seeing in ESPN, it's one thing to talk about the principles around diversity and inclusion. It's something else when it comes to somebody's specific job and, and how that's handled. And I, the, what, what I've learned from dealing with these issues of the NBA is that they are incredibly complex. It's not, there's no magic bullets here. And they require a very labor intensive effort of getting people in the room and working through these, these issues by talking a lot about them and then talking even more about them and creating a climate where people are comfortable, you know, saying what's on their mind, where people um, are given the benefit of the doubt, especially um, long-term um, employees that are um, in good standing, that when they do make comments, that, that people recognize that people make mistakes, that careers shouldn't be erased you know, by, by a single comment, that we should be judging people by the larger context of their body of work and, and, and who they are and what we know about them. So, you know, I, I, I mean, I have confidence in the leadership of ESPN and of course, and in, in, in my Disney colleagues. And so they will work through this, but I'm, I'm sure this is a very difficult time for them. And it's, and it's really unfortunate what we're seeing in sports. I'd say one of the differences from sports from most other businesses, including usually the media, is that it doesn't play out so publicly. You know, we, we all familiar with issues that have happened in workplaces, but they're handled by human resources department and people are quietly brought into rooms and they work through them and people, you know, and, and people are, you know, can talk these things through. It's when things are playing out in the media and then on social media, it's, it's inc incredibly difficult for everyone involved. And, um, you know, again, I, I, I hope that the folks at ESPN are able to continue to work through these. We appreciate our partnership with them and the coverage, you know, again, from both Rachel and Maria. I mean, they're incredibly devoted to the NBA. Um, they're both fantastic at what they do. And this is just a, a really unfortunate situation, especially coming at this moment in time when we'd like all the folks to be on the players on the floor. Thank you.